Hey guys, DT Rockstar One here. The car I'm showing you here today is the DeLorean Prototype. It's seen at the AACA Museum in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The DeLorean has always been a cool car, but the prototype is something I have been wanting to see for a very long time. When a car goes into production, one of the first things that gets watered down from the concept is the interior, and the DeLorean is no exception. When you take a look at the interior, it has a much nicer steering wheel, nicer buttons, nicer seats, and it just all around looks better than the very plain looking production interior. And speaking of the, the interior, you'll also notice that on the prototype, there's no room behind the seats for storage. And the reason for this is because it was originally supposed to have a mid-engine layout. And for the production model, they moved it to the rear of the car, which gave it room for storage in the back. They originally planned for it to have a Wankel rotary engine, but in the end they decided to go with the Peugeot Renault Volvo V6. The prototype does not have the louvers over the engine cover like the production model does. There were some other differences as well. The prototype did not have the chin spoiler and it also did not have the intake below the grille. The stainless steel was much shinier, it had fancier wheels, and the production version had a louvered grille while the prototypes was flat. The DeLorean was one of those spectacular failures as they called it, and it had, it had a lot of problems, it had a lot of uh, quality issues, and you know, a lot of that was true, but I think one of the things that people tend to forget is that it was a brand new company. Whenever you start a new company, the, the first several cars are going to have problems. There's just, there's no way around that. And I think a lot of it too was lack of funding, uh, bad business decisions, and also the fact that a lot of the people who were building the cars had never built a car before. So I, I don't think it's because they, they didn't care. I, I think it, they just had a lot of factors that were going against them. Also, John DeLorean was in that sting operation where he was accused of attempting drug trafficking. Well, a lot, a lot of people, what, what a lot of people don't know is that he was acquitted on all charges. There was, uh, several years ago, I was in a convoy with several DeLoreans. I was riding shotgun and uh, somebody in the sidelines was say, uh, he shouted out, is he still in jail? Well, that's one of the things a lot of people don't know that he actually was acquitted on, on all accounts. So he, he never served time, which is really a shame because it really tarnished his reputation for something he didn't even do. And so the guy, that he basically ruined his life uh, trying to create his dream. And so that I, I have a feeling that if the odds weren't stacked against him so much, that the car probably would have been a lot more successful. It would it, They would have had time to build more cars and iron out a lot more of the bugs that they originally had. And it was it was not a fast car. It's no secret that it was underpowered. The weight distrib uh, distribution was way off and it just it had a lot of quality issues. And it, it's just, that's the nature of building a new car. And I think a lot, of, a lot of people are comparing that to a car company that had, has already been around for decades or even generations. I mean, it's not really fair to compare something like that to something that General Motors makes. Now, speaking of cars that were poorly made, look at the Lamborghini Countach, the Lotus Esprit, and the Ferrari Testarossa from around the same time. Those cars were poorly built, and they were built by manufacturers that had been around a long, lot longer, and they cost way more than the DeLorean. So that kind of puts it in perspective for you. And this is something that I want to talk about in one of my, my next videos, is the fact that a lot of new car companies get treated so poorly. Everybody, everybody's comparing them to car companies that have been around for generations, and it's just, it's asinine to do that. So that's one of the things I want to talk about in one of my next videos, so definitely stay tuned for that. Definitely pay a visit to the AACA Museum in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Definitely worth a visit. There's a lot of cool stuff to see there. So this is DT Rockstar One. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.